Are you searching for a cost-effective, long-term data archive storage solution like Amazon S3 that you can host on your own server environment? You're in the right place. Welcome to Installer Guru, where we simplify installations for you. Today, we'll guide you through setting up MIO-IO object storage on true NAS scale, offering you the power to securely store and manage your data efficiently without breaking the bank. First, let's understand. What is object storage and why do we need it? Object storage manages data as individual units with metadata, making it ideal for long-term archiving. Its scalable, cost-effective architecture excels at handling unstructured data, like documents and media files, offering durability and easy retrieval. Today, we'll build our very own object storage with the help of TrueNAS Scale and Minio. In our previous videos, we've demonstrated how you can install the TrueNAS system on your servers. You can check out our channel playlist for that. Just like TrueNAS Core, TrueNAS Scale is designed to be the most secure and efficient solution for managing and sharing data over a network. TrueNAS Scale is an open source storage infrastructure solution. It supports the ZFS file system, which provides built-in bitrot protection for your data. You can scale up by adding drives or deploy scale-out object storage by adding multiple systems to a cluster. On the other hand, Minio is a high-performance S3-compatible object store. It's built for large-scale data lakes and database workloads. It is software-defined and runs on any cloud or on-premises infrastructure. Today, we'll install Minio on our true NAS scale server. First, log in to your freshly installed true NAS scale system. If you have an existing true NAS pool, import that pool first. Now, we'll create a data set for our object storage. Make sure you select the app preset to get permission for the MinIO application. You can also set data quotas, encryption, and compression as needed. Next, navigate to the app section, where we'll configure app services like pool selection and network selection. Finally, we're ready to install the MinIO app. Search for MinIO in the app discovery section. Select the MinIO app and click on Install. In the app deployment section, select the application name and version. Then configure the root user and root password, which serve as the access key and secret key for the object storage. Configure the network ports. The default port for API is 9000 and for console and web UI is 9002. You can change the ports if required. Configure the storage path for the MinIO app. We'll use the existing dataset created earlier. You can adjust the application's resources like CPU and memory according to your load. Now, install the MinIO app. It will take some time to pull the Docker image of the MinIO system and deploy it on your true NAS environment. Once the MinIO app is running, open it in a web browser. Log in with your root user and password. For this demo, I've created a bucket and added some data to help you understand. You can create multiple buckets with features like versioning, object locking, and quota management. Browse and download bucket data as needed. Create multiple access keys for custom access. Read the full documentation to understand how it works. Create multiple users and groups and connect them with your existing LDAP system. Monitor data metrics and logs and audit them as needed. Use the Amazon S3 browser desktop application for data uploading and manage your object storage effectively. That's all for now. Thanks for spending your time with us. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. 
And don't forget to follow and subscribe for more tech videos.